when I get to meet with my kids. When I get to see students um, and I get to help process through what they're going through, um, when I get to help them recognize their own strengths, and when I see them practice that compassion for others and themselves, um, that's my favorite part is just being with them and being through this um, and helping them along the way. My name is Lacey Zarlingo. I am one of the counselors here at Timberline. And what we're gonna do is each of you will read the feeling and then we're gonna pick out when we feel that way, what might that tell us that we need? Yeah, so that was coming off of the um, pandemic and we were going into hybrid learning at that time. And so my school psychologist and I we're just talking about some ways to help um, with some of students' isolation, um, socialization skills, um, some of that anxiety that they're coming back with. Um, so we really wanted to serve them through a small group setting that was inclusive to students that receive social emotional goals through special education services, um, in general education classes, and are both English and Spanish speaking students. Primarily how we started um, is we used kind of these stuffed animal puppets um, to help the students role play and practice these skills. Um, so we have slow like a sloth, kind like a giraffe, just giving them different avenues to practice. Um, and that's something that they really caught on to. You know, I think that empathy and compassion piece is what I really hope that these students take with them. Um, just not non-judgmental to themselves and to others and their feelings. Um, and recognizing those for themselves, their family members, in the community, and for their peers and other students around them. I think that foundational empathy piece is so important, whether we're in a pandemic or not. There's constantly um, tough things that all of our students and families and community go through. Um, so I really hope that from our group, some of these skills that we worked in to provide that self-compassion and compassion for others will really be a huge takeaway recognizing what the Ed Foundation provided for us and just the ability to use that with all students. Um, having this opportunity and having this, um, this funding to really hone in on something that we're passionate about that is really going to benefit um, all students in different ways. Um, I've learned a lot from the process going through it. Um, and I've also learned the impact that it can have on our students and families and community. Um, what something that seems very small can actually um, be very large.